Concrete piles and drilled shafts are an important category of foundations, necessary when we want to transfer the loads of a heavy superstructure, such as a bridge, to the lower layers of soil. When a structure stands on a weak foundation, consequences may occur, from significant damage to collapsing. When concrete piles or deep foundations are placed, there is no direct method of inspection. NDT methods are indirect methods of integrity and health monitoring of piles and deep foundations. Surface and subsurface methods are two general categories of non-destructive testing used in evaluating piles. Surface methods do not require any soil boring or probe. Their main advantage is that they are fast with minimal intrusion. The equipment can easily be moved around the top of the substructure and the traffic disruption caused by this group of tests is minimal. A disadvantage to surface methods are their inability to provide foundation data below a subsurface pile cap. Subsurface methods require the installation of at least one soil boring or probe. A main advantage of this group of tests is their ability to detect foundations below a subsurface pile cap. One drawback for this group of tests is their expensive price tag. However, this can be justified by the greater reliability and versatility they offer. How can you get the most accurate picture of what is happening inside a concrete pile? Our focus of this video, Pile Integrity Testing, is able to provide you this critical information. A pile integrity test can be used for forensic evaluation on existing piles or quality assurance in new construction. Pile integrity testing provides a cost-effective, time-saving method for assessing the condition of cast in place or driven concrete piles. To ensure that there is proper contact between the sensor and concrete, all contamination should be removed. The sensor then should be placed away from the edges of the pile. Then a hammer is actually used to impact the pile top. The distance between the impact location and the sensor should be no larger than 300 millimeters. Several impacts are applied to the top of the pile. The reflected echoes are then recorded for each individual impact. As an alternative, the average can be determined and used. The concept behind the technique is to apply a low strain impact to the pile tip. The sonic echoes from the pile end are recorded and analyzed. This test should be conducted no sooner than seven days after casting or after concrete strength achieves at least three quarters of its design strength. Results of the pile integrity test are used to evaluate the pile cross-sectional area, evaluate pile length, pile integrity, and pile continuity. The test also reveals any defects in the structure such as cracks, necking, and soil incursions. Limitations with pile integrity testing do exist. For starters, this test cannot be conducted over a pile cap. The test will not provide you information on the bearing capacity. Lastly, an experienced pile integrity testing professional must be present to conduct the test. 